aftermath. Just got back from the grocery store. So, this is it. What's the... They were putting stuff on. Sugar bodies. Tell me what I got ring. I guess I got two for Look. Let's just watch it change colors. Oh, look at me. That is so pretty. You got the little roses. And your mask. I got to show the mask. Even though them. Let me see the mud. Don't pay attention to the feed. I don't think they pay attention. I wouldn't have seen it if Just you had a point of that. I didn't see it till Jerry said something. Queen. So pretty. Look how she is. So good. So, I am a savage. My. Average. So yeah. Look what I got. I got some, some bio tea. I didn't eat my sandwich. I saved mine. Are you eating your sandwich? Nope. Thank you, Let's see. I think smart baby. So cute. I'm telling you. Mmm. Can y'all smell that goodness? <laughs> I like putting syrup on that. Oh. You have you ever put syrup on yours? Five. One. Yeah, one. I see that. Fly. It's a fly, yeah. yeah. Oh, we got to get that mug. We got to get that mug. This whole kitchen. It's a what? Work zone. Work zone? Yeah. So what you saying? Said work zone. What you saying? You said work zone too. Mm -hmm. Call of Duty or something. <laughs> <laughs> they play Call, Call of Duty too much. Especially Shane. Oh, I think I play Huh? Ring, you play board on oh, Ring? Oh, what you been playing? I so I'm be I'm behind the work zone, Mark. Yeah, I'm really getting mm -hmm. in the basement. I play Call of Duty more than Shane now. That's because she's been trying to unlock this character. Uh, unlock this character. Yeah, he comes full. I was shooting people up, but they were cheating. They were trying to shoot me. And then people were trying to take my kids. I'd be like, no, mine. No. Don't shoot them in their back. No. My own teammate. You're so violent. What are they talking about? It's something. What? Violence. What about it? It was something, wasn't it? Uh, the Americans. Yeah. What's that you just threw, son? That's, um... The uh, screen name. I ain't gotta do that. I'll probably do that. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Show them, Shane. Let me zoom in. Let me see. Okay, let's zoom out. I got too close. Okay, Mom. Frappuccino. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's your, uh,. Yo, game face, I don't know. 
all the chicken pieces. Your lalas. Son, uh, you smashing your cup, your your noodles. Yeah. You stepped on those. Yeah, tell how space to move that stuff. Cause this is a work zone, son. Yes. You getting your noodles? <laughs> ah! I'm just getting y'all beginners. What you trying to say? Nothing, Mom. I can't say nothing. Oh, what's that? Chocolate eclair bars. Oh, that out. Eat these. I got nuts. Oh, these yeah, like the little... strawberry shortcake thingies. Right here. Okay. I want to move completely. Y'all don't know how to work together in the work zone. Yeah, how I'm see how I'm organizing this. That's Georgie. See? see how I'm organizing Oh, uh, uh, yeah. You need a fan. You need my fan, son. To just hold it on you and let it blow in your hair. It's a big rip. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, I did that like that, mommy. And now it's all done. You got eggs. You're not finna collect these bottles, Shan. No, you finna re you finna keep one and throw the rest of them away. Y'all want me to put the ass up? Yeah. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Nope. You stop walking down those stairs. I don't feel wanted. Are you really? Are you really sorry? Say hey to the peeps. Hey. <sighs> it's nine. Ooh, I can't even see the clock. Nine fifty, you know. Eight, you know. What you gonna do? You finna go mow the lawn? Yeah, he got his uh lawn boy at work. Yep. That I was supposed to clean it out, but I guess next time. Yeah. There's no porn. The bath is in the sink, too. I don't let you be at it. Okay. You need my assistance? I don't have nothing to do. Get tissue. Okay, Scott. Scott. Tissue, tissue. Tissue, tissue. Paper towels. I don't know why they look like that, but. Paper towels. Six. Six. Okay, I gotta take one of these. Okay, Lysol, my orange glow. I need this upstairs too. I got some little detergent. I got to buy some more. But mainly tissue, tissue, and paper towels. Huh? And I got 
paper bowls, cups. We need like some small plates. Like this. And this. <sighs> the old floor of stuff right here. Is that uh right with stuff open? Cause if it's open, don't be down here. Yeah. So it's been in the refrigerator. Who would do that? Do that look open? I don't know. That ain't gonna be no good. Mm. I'm gonna have to come back and check and see if that's open. Somebody put some open spaghetti sauce downstairs. Looks like it's open. Oh. Oh, oh y'all almost done. Look at y'all. Mm -hmm. Teamwork make the dream work. Okay. This goes right here. Oh, just now. Just now? Yeah. They got her done, peeps. Throw that away too. You got another one. Oh, it's kind of wet and a coffee thing. We ain't gotta throw that away. We ain't throw this away. We got I thought Dirty was gonna throw that away. You put the coffee up. Yeah, but he usually throw the stuff away. I just threw I just went outside. Oh, okay, George. Uh, what you got? Show the peeps what you got. Oh, you don't want to drink that. Yeah, then I'll die. We don't I'll want that. You got to give me some grandkids. No. Some fruit grandkids. So, oh, mm. I ain't claiming them. Abundance. I ain't claiming those. I don't get no lawn mower. That I said you were feeling. It didn't work. Look for our traps. Yeah. I think there's a lot of stuff there now. There's a lot of stuff there now. Yeah, I think there's a lot of stuff. Don't forget to clean the bathroom up. You gotta write your, uh-huh, you gotta write your scripture, Shane. What happened? It don't work? No, I ain't trying to. Are oh, you just been sitting there? I just came out here and picked some coffee. I just tried to my uh, weed back the thing, too. Oh. Well, it's a little cool, man. Yeah, you better get it before it rains. I know, it's like now. I'm finna to cut it. You slow as molasses. Or oh, whatever. <laughs> you knew I was going to say so, did you? I was wrong. You better you didn't. Because I was like, he's sitting down. I just told them. I said, I don't even know a lawnmower right, doing so, work. I was there when you were talking to them. I'm like, he said that about a half an hour ago. He better cut the grass. <laughs> they have been two o'clock. He'll be still. Well, whatever. Go on. Uh, you still be sitting there. Go on, funny person. <laughs> you be Hey, uh, uh, it's been a rain that stopped it and then you still sit right there. Crack <laughs> yourself up. Else you know I'm telling the truth. Whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't brought the lawnmower out. It's just you really ain't in the mood to do it. You just know you got to do it. Thumbs up, sweetie. To cutting that grass sometime today. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ain't see that thumb. I'm going to cut it. I ain't got to Get thumbs up. Go on with the Put that little thumb. Mississippi thumb. <laughs> my mama. Yeah, my mama. For the eat, Shan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where that dimple at? <laughs> Just like your pop Mine? Let's see where yours is. Not as deep as mine. Her like that ass. That ass long like that. Go all he got two. Oh, them a long, that ass long. 
He got two long ones. All right. Come. Hey peeps, how y'all doing today? And by the way, I'm not too long woke up, so yeah. <laughs> it was a rough one today. So, same day. Today is... August 1st. Welcome, August. Nice to see you. At 1.31 in the p.m. And currently, it is 76 degrees, which is awesome. No complaints over here, y'all. So, I just woke up. My eye been bothering me, y'all. And this is what i always been using for my uh, eye. I've been using this stuff ever since my kids was little and used to get the pink eye. They got a pink eye version, but they got different cans, so I don't try different cans. But when my kids were younger and going to school, they would get the pink eye and spread it to each other. And I always was used to one that had pink eye, but for my eye, this is the kind I use because... Normally, I kind of like suffer from dry eyes, and then my eyes just be doing them all. So, yeah, I have to put, I got to read, so I need some eye drops, and this how I put my eyes in. In my eye. And I normally always this eye. I think this eye been like my weakest eye. Since, since when I had my seizures, after I had child number five, and it did something to both of my eyes, but this one, I, this one, like, got strong over time, but this one, not so much, so, yeah, and y'all, I found me some lip gloss, I finally went to the beauty supply store, right, so I got this. I'm saying. And I got this can. This is kind of more like the one I already got, the jelly can. I like it kind of sticky. So, but I want to put this on. I haven't put no lip gloss on, y'all. I always know I put lip gloss. Um, Vaseline or something. Ooh, it's purple. Ooh, what is what that? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh! Ooh. Ooh. I like the shine. Some. Don't take, don't take, don't take sweet though. So these the two I got, cause my other one almost long. But I'ma finish that one. I just wanted to try this one out. And then I went to the beauty supply store and I got me this anklet. This is pretty. I'll see. I, I know I can make this. Maybe when I finish homeschooling. Because I love anklets. I make me different kinds of anklets. I, I don't know. I, I just love anklets. I always have toe rings. Who still wear toe rings? I haven't worn them in a while, but I have them. 
because I haven't been wearing like sandals lately in the last couple of summers. But I got a lot of sandals too. I don't know. I just don't be in the mood to be keeping my toes done and all that type of stuff. But polished and everything. But I have toe rings. I was always into all that little stuff. Bracelets, necklace, rings, anklets, earrings. Because actually I have like, I have another hole in my ear. I might have closed up, but I still feel them. I have two on this, two here, two here. But I just wear these one pair so i just wanted to show y'all that i got that yesterday when i went out and i got a lot of i got some old other oh i got i got more stuff i even went to sally's and got me some nail polishes and i went to ulta uh, a couple of weeks ago and got some nail polishes so i'm kind of replacing my old nail polish with new nail polish so i can I'm like gonna give me a whole little another type of stash of nail polish and then these is like my press on impress so this is my first time trying to um what she called it wrench tip nails i don't know y'all but i put stickers on them because i got a bunch of stickers and uh i had a stick on this one but this head it came off i had to put a new one on i got and this is like my second week having these on so they last a long time only like three done came off. But like that one. Oh, I had one on here, but I had to replace that one. They last pretty long. I've been washing dishes and well, washing out stuff and everything. So y'all, it's Saturday. I'm about to do my read. I showed y'all a little footage of when we came to get up this morning. We was out of here at 7.30, went to Walmart, got our grocery shopping on, and that was the aftermath, what I showed y'all earlier. They put it up, the sunny, and the girls puts it up. No, I don't, I don't. Well, I was doing a deep freezer, organizing the deep freezer, because when I have to cook stuff, just being there all discombobulated. But Reen, she normally do it, and I'll start doing it, but now she done start back doing it and organizing now. So, so I, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't bring bags in. I don't put groceries up. Nah, I done did all that, but I got, I got kids, right? Big ones at that, right? So yeah, August, August. This month, three of my kids' birthdays. All my kids' birthdays is in July, August, September, October, and November. Weird, right? Three in July, three in August, one September, one October, one November. So, yeah, so my son... He is coming up August the 11th, and my grandbaby's August the 11th, too. My son will be 28. Um, my grandbaby will be, Reese will be 5, I'm thinking. Um, Reigns, hers the 13th, so I got August the 11th, August 13th. August 13th, she'll be 17. And then August 23rd is my oldest daughter birthday oldest child daughter she'll be 34 yep so and then october georgie's now september child number two she'll be 30 and then georgie child number seven 21 and then november child number five she'll be 30, 27? That's the one. Got all my grandbabies. And she just had another one. Um, 
July this month actually she just had one this month so I have three granddaughters and one grandson now she the only one I had the babies and nobody else had no babies just her and she'll be she uh, she 26 getting ready to be 27 yeah so and the uh, air in the truck is working perfectly went out yes because I haven't been in the truck since the air went out, I don't think so. So yesterday, Friday was my first day in the truck and everything, and it works good. It's back. We back in business, y'all. But it's pretty. It's been pretty cool this week. But I'm sure it's not over with because we got the rest of this month. And sometimes even September get kind of hot too. So it's just good to have your stuff right, you know. So let me get on into this read, y'all, because today we're going to eat um, burritos from this Maxwell store. Um, probably around 3 o'clock, they'll go get it. Yeah, we started a new TV program for movie night, which is called The Americans. And we watch Homeland, Ray Donovan. And I think that's it so far because basically we're not finishing finishing up everything and they haven't been making no new ones like um waiting on hand handmaid's tale queen of the south what else we waiting on oh utri what's oh, the yeah we just finished that oh we just finished that but what is called the last, the last kingdom i like that um the you witcher Y'all got it on. How hey, look? It pretty. Yep, I got it on. I, I thought it say sugar, but it's it not say... sweet. Want to try some? I still don't know. Oh, you can't put this on top of that. It won't. Ever, it won't be right. I don't want that on yet. Tomorrow, mm. I do a lip color a day. She do a lip color a day, y'all. So, yeah. Oh, let me show them. She wants to show y'all something. She ordered her. Um, her and the sonny got a summer job. So, yeah. That's. She been bad. She bought Rena stuff with her summer job money. She got paid. Her first check in life. And she got. And this is what she bought her from. You Walmart. bought it. <laughs> yeah, I bought it. <laughs> this ain't got the almond milk in it? No, this is a different can. This is vanilla. Uh, you, which one you like better? The I almond milk or this one? This one's sweeter and it has uh, more calories too. Maybe because of vanilla it's wasting. Mm -hmm. It has more calories. Yeah, of course. More sugar. More calories. Good. And so, yeah, she does going around bad people stuff with her little purse, summer job check. I think she, you get paid again. When, Shan? The 7th, right? This Friday coming up? Yeah. Yeah. So, that's good. So, y'all, I think I done caught y'all up. It's kind of gloomy. It's supposed to rain. The hubby, he done went out there and mowed the, uh, mowed the grass. I fell asleep. I took a nap because I got up extra early and went to bed, like, late. So, I was sleepy. I'm like, I need to give me some sleep before I get on here and make this video. I already be uh, discombobulated. <laughs> Oh my God, I wasn't even, my eyes was acting up, like, my, I couldn't even, I barely could see because my eyes was tired. Oh, so let's do this, y'all. Smoking and health is the read. Now, where am I at? This is, uh, I have to keep up. Just be patient, y'all. Please be patient with me. Hey, God is not through with me yet. That's seven, six, fifteen. What eight is? I'm supposed to be that way. Okay, I think I'm. I think I got it, y'all. I think I got it. I think I got it. 
Okay. Here we go. What is known? Key facts about nicotine addiction. I should have hit. Shan, can you come here, please? I need your assistance. Can you pull that red curtain back some more? It's getting dark. Give me a little more light. Oh, yeah. Pull it back a little bit more. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you, sweetie. You look so beautiful. What's well, the lip gloss? I don't know. She said, I look so beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're beautiful, too. All right. What is known? Key facts about nicotine addiction. Bullet number one. A UK government scientific committee said in March 1998, over the past decade, there has been increasing recognition that underlying smoking behavior and its remarkable intractability to change its addiction to the drug nicotine. Nicotine has been shown to have effects on brain, dopamine, dopamine, D-O-P-A-M-I-N-E, systems similar to those of drugs such as heroin and cocaine. And that was quoted by S-C-O-T-H, Scoth. Back in 1998, wow, the UK government scientific committee said in March 1998, over the past decade, there has been increasing recognition that underlying smoking behavior and its remarkable intractability to change its addiction to the drug, drug nicotine. Nicotine has been shown to have effects on the brain, on brain dopamine, the dopamine systems. Similar to those of drugs such as heroin and cocaine. Wow. Bullet number two. Dependence on nicotine is established early in teenagers. That's why they go for the young, poor, black, and stupid, huh? I'm on, look, I could get all Sam. I'm going to always remember that. Blood of Jesus. Well, I'm just saying. Dependence on nicotine is established early in teenagers' smoking careers. And there is compelling evidence that much adult smoking behavior is motivated by a need to maintain a preferred level of nicotine intake. Quoted by Scott in 1998, I-B-I-D. Let's see y'all. see that word. Oh, what is it? Right here. Scott. Stop it. So I'm reading these bullets. Okay. It's interesting, right? Number three, withdrawal from smoking can be observed as causing irritability. <laughs> uh, withdrawal from smoking can be observed as causing irritability, difficulty in concentrating, they ain't nothing but a drug, right? Anxiety, restlessness, increased hunger, depression, and a pronounced craving for tobacco. If that ain't a drug, I don't know what it is. And the weird part, the part about it, it's a drug, nicotine, right? But it say causes irritability, difficulty in concentration, and anxiety. And then, like, if you go to the doctor... With these symptoms, then they'll prescribe you a drug to calm down your anxiety. So you just all doped up, drugged up. Wow. But dry from smoking can be observed as causing irritability. And I, yes. Difficulty in concentrating. Wow, mess with the brain, man. Anxiety, the nerves, restlessness, no sleep. Shoot, I be, I be having that. <laughs> Increased hunger, depression. Then you go to the doctor, wonder why you're feeling depressed. Then they describe you a drug for depression. And pronounced craving for tobacco. 
the fact that this can be attributed to nicotine rather than behavioral aspects of tobacco use is shown by the consistent finding that withdrawal symptoms are relieved by nicotine replacement such as patches the gum and etc but not by a placebo like patches gums etc that do not contain nicotine it's relieved by a nicotine replacement patches gum etc but not by a placebo patches gum etc that does do not contain nicotine wow bullet number four despite a high proportion 70 percent of smokers that say they would like to quit cessation rates are low two studies showed less than five percent of those attempting to stop maintain complete abstinence for six months wow wow only a third managed to abstain for two days nicotine replacement therapy approximately doubles the chance of successful cessation nicotine replacement therapy basically withdrawals I guess they probably have to wean certain people off of it because if you experience all these type of symptoms, you probably feel like you could have a nervous breakdown or a mental breakdown. For real, if you experience an irritability, difficulties, concentrating, anxiety, restlessness, increased hunger, depression, and pronounced craving for tobacco, you probably feel like you're about to lose your man if you got the, your body fit to go through all these different types of emotions. So I guess they have to wean you off some most of the time with another drug or my outer drug maybe. And that's still more money because da -da -da -da. they have to prescribe that or you have to Go by that to even try to wing yourself, even if it really worked, you know? Wow, money over morals. Only a third managed to abstain for two days. Nicotine replacement therapy approximately doubles the chance of successful cessation. Nicotine replacement therapy doubles the chance of successful cessation bullet number five there is no universally accepted definition of addiction and the scope of characteristics included varies but the who who gave a reasonable definition in 1969 y'all a state psychic and sometimes also physical resulting from the interaction between a living organism and a drug characterized by behavioral and other responses that always include a compulsion to take the drug on a continuous or periodic basis in order to experience its psychic effects and sometimes to avoid the discomfort of its absence because people don't be want to go through them withdrawals Tolerance may or may not be present. Wow. There is no universally accepted definition of addiction. And I mean, first of all, let's just... Why do I have to even be addicted? And what was the purpose of it being addicted? To make money, y'all. Off of the lives of people. Now I don't care about people dying and killing people. More money, more money, more money. Because then you're going to have to go to the doctor, more money. Then you're going to have to get the other things, more money. The prescriptions, more money. All the way around. Money, money, money. Bullet number six. Smokers are compelled to smoke by addiction to nicotine. But the harm is largely done by the 4,000 plus other chemicals in the tar and gases produced by burning tobacco. Mm. It is this combination that makes tobacco so dead. Let me reread that. Smokers are compelled to smoke by addiction to nicotine, 
but the harm is largely done by the 4,000 plus other chemicals. First of all, who does that? These are not robots that's doing this. This is the people. These are human beings that's putting these 4,000 plus million chemicals in the tar and gases produced by burning tobacco. The smoke, the smoke, it is this combination that makes tobacco so deadly. Man, you got to take back the power over your life, man. Your freedom, your free will, you got to take it back. For real, for real. So I'm done. I got her done. Now I got to do my Bible read, y'all. I had my nose go. I told you, sleeping on that air conditioning. When I talk, it, it just releases. It let go. Let it go. Yeah. Wow, man. This is so messed up, so jacked up. Wow. It's just sad, man, along with everything else going on. It's just all the way around sad. And this was back in 1969. Well, you know, it started back in 1950s, though, right? And this is 2020. Look at that. So, I got her done. Read next. I need to write some stuff down because when I look at this, I get all confused. Like, where am I at? What's the last thing I read? Where's my Bible paper? What did I do with my Bible paper? She. Oh, that's okay. I got it. Oh, here we go, Bible, y'all. Well, I know I say Bible, but it says the biblical uh, input about it, too. So, y'all ain't heard from this one in a minute. Okay, here we go. Y'all ready? Y'all still meditating on what I just read? I know, right? Like, what? So, yeah, over the three years as a pastor, I have been by the bedside of many people who were dying as a result of smoking, and I have conducted many of their funerals. Wow. I have watched people whose lungs were so badly damaged, they could not live without oxygen. Remove the oxygen tube, coughing, and gasping for breath. Light a cigarette and smoke it between their gas, their rasping coughs. It said, "Gasping for breath, light a cigarette and smoke it between their rasping cough." Y'all know that's a straight up addiction. With four thousand million, four thousand plus chemicals. That's sad, man. Can't, can't look. We need. Uh, we we want to sue. <laughs> We want to sign a petition. <laughs> uh, I have seen the horrible pain caused as tobacco caused cancer in its final stages as it ate through the bodies of people coming through the skin. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Coming through the skin? I have seen the doctors increase the doses of morphine until it had little or no effect on their pain. Whew, this is just sad, man. I have watched the pain of smokers have an ugly fix of coffee and yet, in a few minutes later, light another cigarette. Them chemicals. It's controlling their brain. Y'all know that is not a God thing. Okay. I have seen people put a cigarette to their trick. I know y'all know this word. Trick. Trick. Hotomy. 
because tobacco caused cancer had destroyed their throats. Wow. Wow. Whoa. And they could no longer breathe through their mouth or nose. That's a blessing, y'all. If you could breathe through your mouth and nose, thank your Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus. It's a blessing. It's just some, we some, you know, we take these things for granted, you know. Just don't know what people be going through and suffering through that. The, these things that seem so simple be so detrimental to other people just to breathe through their nose and their mouth. What? From all them chemicals going up in there destroying their throats. Oh my gosh. It is no fun to watch someone die from cancer or heart disease when you know was totally preventable and was caused by their addiction to cigarettes. When I see a young or a middle-aged person smoking, I see their future. And it concerns me deeply to know what probably lies ahead for them. Tobacco is a slow. Tobacco is a slow but merciless killer. That first debilitates its victim and then methodically destroys their lives all the while giving their prey a murderous pleasure. It ain't no pleasure no more, man, when you can't hardly breathe and you can't hardly catch your breath and stuff. Ain't no pleasure about that. It's just torment. Torment. You be making me mad. So I got her done, y'all. Just, just, just meditate on that. Just, just meditate on that for a minute. Oh, no, I didn't get that done. Oh, my battery about to die. I have also watched professing Christians... Living spiritually defeated last because of smoking. They knew it was wrong and because they could not overcome it, they were affected spiritually. I have seen them as they tried to justify their sin gradually develop a rebellious spirit. I read before like smoking is linked to a rebellious spirit. Wow. I don't know. I have seen them as, okay, I have seen it destroy people's faith in God because they were controlled by their addiction and could not seem to overcome it. I have seen professing Christian farmers who made most of their income by raising tobacco lie to themselves and to others claiming there was nothing wrong with smoking the blood of Jesus. Ain't number Satan. In all my years as a pastor, I have never seen any spiritually strong or mature Christian who smoked. Wow, I got her done, y'all. That's just let all of this just marinate, marinate, okay? This is deep. This is really deep. And my battery about to die, so I can't. I ain't got that much input, but I done gave y'all a lot earlier in both of these reads. Man, it's kind of overwhelming in a way. Like that's a lot. It's just a lot to take in, man. Oh my God. We bad in that addiction in the name of Jesus. We pray that God give people the strength to overcome this addiction and take back their life that God had given them uh, to live free, to live their best life. You know what I'm saying? In a way, they might think they is on the level that they are, but you're not. Because if you get this controlling you and eventually, like it say, it's a slow, it's slow and methodically destroys the body and everything, you know. And it all has to come from within. We have to love ourselves enough. Enough. You know? Enough. To um, do the things. To, to, to be healthy. Um, we got to put that. We got to put that fight in. We got to bring that willpower up. You know what I'm saying? We need that boost. And I feel like my Heavenly Father can give you that. He can give you the strength. You know? A supernatural strength, you know? So, yeah, the prayer is that whoever desires to want to quit smoking, um, um, try, and it didn't work, with this knowledge and the information and everything, it will give you the strength. And it will make you put out that prayer and ask for help, you know? Uh, it do the um let's say like therapies 
stuff to make the help along the way. I don't know. You know, but man, that's not no way to go out, man. And it just said that really, 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 they conjured this up, y'all. This was created by a human being or human beings. money over people for real so on that note i hope y'all enjoyed these reads i hope you took some away from it my little input and everything my little insight and everything because the paper speaks for itself and you know it's smoking the sin this is his testimony by cooper abrams and everything so um yeah it's just like whoa Whoa and whoa and whoa. Um, and I hope it make you feel some woes too. Even if it's for you or just someone you love. Pray on their behalf, man. Like, dang. Whew. It's serious. Come through their skin. Mm -mm. All right. I got to go. So on that note, I hope everybody have a blessed Monday, a safe Monday, a productive Monday. Get her done. Have a protective Monday, Tuesday. And I see y'all back at the table on Wednesday with another read, Smoking in Hell. I done did the Bible, so it might take me a minute to get back to the Bible. But Smoking in Hell is definitely coming. Knowledge is power, people. Power to the people. <laughs> All right. On that note, I'm out. Peace, love, share some, and what I holla. Bye, y'all.